you, Briggs. If you've ever been brilliant, please be brilliant now. Gentlemen, <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but, uh... Must have thought that one day it would end like this. Dani Wassem came to London in the 80s to retrace his father's footsteps and accept a place at Oxford University. He graduated with a degree in economics before returning to Bahrain to take his place on the board of his father's company, the Gulf Partnership. Wassem was spending the evening with friends when he heard of his father's death five weeks ago. So they didn't get on then. He'd lived his entire life in his father's shadow. He was overheard telling an aide at the funeral that he'd spent his entire adult life waiting for him to die. Oh, what charm. How much did he get? North of 850 million. He got the family money and his father's shares, but he has no real power. His father was respected, but he isn't. And the board of Gulf Partnership quickly closed ranks to stop him taking control. It's left Wassem with a bit of a chip on his shoulder. Oh, poor love. They see him for what he is, little more than a thug. He doesn't earn respect, he buys it, using his wealth to surround himself with people who will do whatever he asks, including an enforcer, someone who will kill or torture on demand. Question. Go on. We usually spend our time staying away from people like this. Why are we going after him? I think he's too good to pass up. He's been making his way around Europe, playing the markets. For anyone that openly opposes him, he uses violence. So far, he's played the markets in Greece, Turkey, Spain, and Portugal, making a hefty profit in each. Now, he's in London, and he'll be looking for a broker. So what kind of money are we talking about? In Spain, he invested six million euros. He is very definitely high risk, but with that comes high rewards. Well, I'm in. Ash? Well, you know me. Where you go, I go. Albert? Uh, uh, yeah, all right. Oh, I'd be rude not to. Good. Then let's go get him. It is done. Oh. His throat cut from ear to ear while he sat in the restroom. It's very appropriate. 
You know, the last thing he said to me was that my only chance of regaining my father's company had gone down the toilet. <laughs> There was a problem. His wife ran to a neighbor. The police shut off the streets. Our enforcer was trapped. Was he arrested? No. They shot him. He is dead. Replace him. So this guy isn't just another mark. He's your retirement fund. Marks like this one don't come along very often. No, they don't. So maybe everything we've done has been leading us to this point. One big mark, our very own lottery win. Then we can all walk away on top, money in our pockets. He could kill you. Well, then we make that a risk worth taking. Emma, shopping list. Ooh, we've got my kind of job. Anything new there, Em? Yeah. His favourite buys are gas and oil, but he hates new media, pharmaceuticals, retail companies. The thing he loves best is an edge, something that sets him ahead from everybody else. Then that's exactly what we'll give him. Sean, let's see how long we've got. He's got a private plane, but check with the service company. See when he's due to leave. Yeah, good, sir. How are things going? IT's going live now. Bank account's set up. I'm still working on the hardware, but I think I can crack it. Great. We're in. Yeah, I think Yeah. No, 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 sure. sure. But listen, we wait. We wait until New York opens in the morning because if the Dow Jones rallies, we'll get more action here. Yeah. My clients have very specific targets with, uh, with zero risk attached. <laughs> yes, I said zero. Uh huh. But no, but listen, we wait. We wait until the very last moment, and then we buy fast before anyone else gets wind of what we're buying. No one else in London will get close. I'll call you later. Bye. <laughs> it's too much. Would you relax? This is still peanuts. We could move up to 10 million before anyone else starts asking questions. Well, I'm not so sure. I think it's all happening too fast. What if they realize why we buy what we do? They won't. How could they? All right, relax. Breathe. Have some wine. Try the T-bone. It's to die for. Gentlemen, forgive me. Yes? Uh, my employer, Madani Wassim, was on the next table, couldn't help overhear you talking about your business. You trade on the London stock markets, no? Uh, I'm sorry. Why are we having this conversation? Uh, Mr. Wassim is in London for a short time, and he would very much like to invite you to visit him at his hotel. He believes you may find such a visit to be mutually beneficial. Say what? That he did not do home visits. And should you wish to talk to him, then to do so during office hours. Did you tell this William Cole who I was? Yes, sir. And? He said that he had heard of your father. There's a fine line between piquing someone's interest and being so rude they never want to set eyes on you again. True. What do you think he'll call? He's a bully. It upsets him when people don't do what he wants them to. You won't make it ring by looking at it. Maybe I called her wrong. No, he just wound up. I mean, most of the time, when a mark's just a mark, you get a setback, you don't panic, you take it in your stride. It's only because this one's more important. I'm sorry, I don't get you. How long have I known you, mate? 20 years. And in all that time, you played the odds. Avoided marks like this with Sam Blow like the plague. 
So I figure if that's no longer the case, then either you've got a death wish, in which case I'm not sure why you have to take me with you. Or... He's a special kind of monk. The kind of mark will give you enough money to get out of the game forever. Am I that easy to read? Yeah, Doddle. Always have been. Should have known. Can't kid a kid out. Nah, that's bollocks. You can kid anyone. Except a mate. Whatever you do is all right with me. Do you mean that? I wouldn't have said it otherwise. Just don't go getting all soppy on me, all right? Anyway, to tell the truth, I'm not getting any younger, and I'm fed up of carrying. Well, yes. Yeah. Although none of this makes a blind bit of difference if he doesn't call. Time for plan B. William Cole? Mr. Cole. This is Madani, was it? Oh, uh, well, let me check my diary. No, sorry, I can't do noon. Yeah, yeah, I can do 12.30. <sighs> okay, yeah, see you then. I swear that girl could scam a space shuttle if she set her mind to it. So how are we doing? Yeah, good to go. Sean's out front to give us heads up when they're here. Are we doing a convincer? I thought I'd freeze him out. Would well, you think that's a good idea? The more we drive him mad, the more he'll want to break us. Yeah, I get the logic. But this isn't Mark who has people killed, Mick, and your strategy's pissing him off. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. He's here. He's got some bird of him. What bird? Yeah, fit doesn't help, Sean. Any clue who she is, what she does. No, no, it's OK. Send him up. If you just like to take the elevator up to the sixth floor, somebody will meet you there. Thank you. Mr. Wesson? Perfect. Right this way, please. Don't worry, don't worry, okay? Okay, listen. When we get back, all right, just call me. We'll talk about it, okay? Okay. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Mr. Wassam, very pleased to meet you. 
This is my broker whilst I'm in London, Yvonne Hammond. Miss Hammond. A pleasure. <laughs> so, well, look, we can... Uh, oh, Henry, for God's sake, for leave it. Get out. Get out. Oh, oh, come on, go, 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 go. Can you leave uh, an office? Oh, terribly sorry about that. Must be hire a cretin week. You stay. I've been hearing a lot of good things about you, Mr. Cole. Oh? People are very impressed with the returns you've achieved. And in such a short space of time. Wow. <laughs> That's the beauty of the markets, isn't it? I mean, if you're well informed and you're, you're quick enough, all things are possible. <laughs> they talk to you like you're the lowest form of life. They want to know where you are every minute of every day. You know, run here, go there, do this, move that. Then all they do is treat you like a muppet. I mean, I know everything he does and how he does it. I know how he makes his money and why everyone thinks he's golden bollocks. What do I get for it? Nothing. Just abuse. I don't suppose your bloke's got any jobs going, has he? I do IT, you know. Information exchange systems. I don't think so. Yeah, well, well if you have anything, let us know, eh? I'd love to be able to tell him where to stick his job. Mr. Wersim is in London for three days, and whilst he's here, he's very keen to make some investments. And? He would be very interested to hear if you have any advice to give him. After discussing your fee, of course. We do some business, yeah? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Awkward. <laughs> I have a waiting list. You have a waiting list? Yes. Do you know who I am? Yes, yes, but even so. We understand that you must have a very long list of people eager to do business with you, Mr. Cole. But we're equally sure that you could find a way to make an exception for Mr. Wasson. He asked me to wait in line. I could go back in there and speak to him. No, screw him. You? Screw you. I will crush you. Get the car. I don't think he's very happy. I do not know what you said to him, but he was not pleased. What have I missed? Does anyone know she was in London? No. I mean, we didn't know she was in the game. But did she know we were? She can't have known. Sorry, I've, I've definitely missed something here, like a, like a meeting or something. We need to talk to her. Do we know where to find her? No, but she knows where to find us. Hey! Never guess well. Stacy's here. How does he do, how does he do that? Mickey! Oh! <laughs> Your face was a picture. Never thought I'd see you speechless. Well, it was a bit of a shock. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh. Long time. <laughs> Albie. You look magnificent and you feel even better. Oh. <laughs> Stacy, this is Emma and Sean Kennedy. Hi. Hello. You all right? Ash has told me all about you. He called occasionally. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I'm not good with small talk. Yeah, so I noticed. Where's Danny? Oh, he fell in love with a cocktail waitress in Santa Monica. They were planning a summer wedding, choosing names for their children, then her husband found out. Last I heard, they were heading for Vegas. Mm. Uh, apparently, Danny had a plan. Yeah, I'll bet he did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how long you been back? Why didn't you tell us you were coming? And how long you stayed? A girl can't answer that many questions without a drink. <laughs> I'll kill him. I'll wipe every trace of him off the earth. Now you. Go and shoot him. It's the UK, sir. We cannot carry guns. Where's my enforcer? I have found someone, a Ukrainian, Alex Klukas. He was recommended to me by one of our men. He has the details, but there may also be another way. We don't have to do this, you know. We could bring him in another way. Yes, Mum. I mean it. I'll be okay. Well, look, just tell him what he wants to know quickly. Don't string it out. 
But look, this is our convince. If he doesn't have to work for it, he won't believe it. I know, but you can make sure. Will you just stop? I've been in the toilet. I wash my hands and I got a clean hanky. All right. All right. Don't worry. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks. Berea said something about a job? Yeah, of course. Think of this as a job interview. Right. OK. Now, Berea tells me that you know how Mr. Cole selects his investments. Uh, yeah, well, kind of. But I'm not sure I should talk about that. Oh. Well, it's not part of my job, not really. I do I too, you see. I've um, bought my CV. Here you go. Let me ask you the question in a different way. <laughs> you know how he selects his investments. I know what he does. Uh, I heard him talking to the Yank, but I don't know how. I swear, I don't know. You know, I know what his edge is. I know why he never loses any money. But how the whole thing works, the mechanics, only he knows that. You will tell me everything you know about William Cole and how he selects his investments. Everything. Every detail. You leave nothing out. Do you understand? Jesus. <clears throat> I think he's convinced. <sighs> I'm not going to meet you. Sorry, sir, you don't have an appointment. I don't need one. What do you think you're doing? Sit down and shut up. I'm so sorry, they wouldn't listen to me. Call security. Call whoever you want, you piece of shit. Because the second after you throw me out, I'm going to tell the police about how you're intercepting data from the London Stock Exchange, which will put you out of business and into prison. Sir? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's OK, Alice. Take the rest of the day off. Close the door behind you. Now he wants to meet. Now he wants to talk. But maybe I don't want to do business. Maybe I got a waiting list. Look, I didn't mean to offend you. No, but I'm about to offend you. Talk to him. Mr. Wasson is a very reasonable man, and he has no wish for things to be anything other than cordial. Yeah, it's very lucky for you I'm a reasonable man, you horse's ass. Uh, but he insists that you show him how the data is intercepted and how you use this data to choose which investments you make. Uh, before I do anything at all, I want to know how you came by this information. That is none of your business. You just show me how it works. But I can't do that, because there are other people involved. Let me explain something to you, Mr. Golden Balls. It would give me great pleasure to just tell the police everything I know, and I can go home. Or I can forget about the police and just shoot you and everyone you love in the head. The only thing that's stopping me from doing that is the thought that I can make some money here. So you, you got a very simple choice. You can either show me how the interception works, or you can go to prison, or you'd be dead. All right, I'll need some time. Of course. You have a minute. Have you gone insane? I have no choice, they know. How? But that doesn't matter. All that's important is that you show me what I came to see. I'm sorry, there's no other way.
This is it. This cable carries a live feed into the stock exchange building next door. Six months ago, there was a fault in the system, and George here was sent over from the American company in Houston who supplied the software. His team had to um, dig up the cable so that they could uh, fit a new digital transcoder unit. When we did, I realized with an exposed cable and the right software, we could manipulate the data that passes through it. This is a hard drive. It records all of the data coming in and holds it up for nine-tenths of a second before playing it on down the line. To the stock exchange. Exactly. It holds it up long enough for us to analyze it and identify any major shifts, trends, or movements before playing it onto the stock exchange boards. It's also hooked up to our trading account, so it can make purchases based on those calculations. And there's no risk, ever. We only ever buy stock we know is going to rise. And presumably you can offload before anyone else if it starts to go down. We don't hold on to it that long, we just make our profits and get out. Okay. I'm in. You're in? In for what? You will make investments for me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, it's not that simple. I heard you in the restaurant. You said you have a capacity for 10 million. Well, yes. I, I mean, that's the top end of our, of our buying power, but... But what? Well, look, even if we had that kind of money, which, uh, by the way, we don't, we would never go over a million. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. That's because you're a horse's ass. You will invest the full 10 million. 10 million? You take my 10 million, you double it. Look, well, I'd, I'd need all the money in the account. And the returns? They go to the same account. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what do we get out of this, huh? Um, yeah, I mean, we still get our commission, right? 22% uh, cash? 5%. What? Perhaps the experience will teach you some manners. You call me when it's ready. Okay, once the money is in the trading account, I want two men watching call round the clock. Yes, sir. I want you to learn how they program the machine. Me? Why? Because once you can use it, I'll have no further use for Cole and the old man. Uh, wait. I, I don't mind bending the rules to make money. The city's corrupt anyway, but... I won't be a party to murder. Would you rather I ask someone else? Because then I wouldn't need you either. No. Then just do it. Call my enforcer, get him on a plane. Okay, time to bail out. You will. He wants me to learn how to program the machine so that he can have you killed. Well, that's kind of what we expected. He told Berea to call the Enforcer, and whatever you do, he's not going to let you out of his sight. I know. From tomorrow morning, he'll have two of his guards on you full time. Even if you pull this off, you'll never get away clean. This is wicked. Without a doubt, this is one of the coolest things I've ever tried on. I actually look like I could swim faster than a shark. Hi. Just the record, this isn't an accurate representation of my underwear. Pleased to hear it. He's got issues from when he was a baby. I do not have issues. Nikki, I don't like it. It feels wrong. What about the money? He's having it transferred first thing tomorrow morning before the market's open. He's also bringing 500,000 in cash, which is your commission if you double him up. Okay. I tell you someone's planning to have you killed and all you say is okay? You're taking 10 million from this man, Mickey. He's not gonna just put it down to experience and walk away. I know where Sam won't just walk away, which is why it's a good reason for us all to Lay low for a bit. So I was thinking, when this job is done, we should take a break. Go our separate ways for a while. How long's a while? Who knows? I thought it best not to make plans. 
I was gonna talk to you about this when the job was done, but it seems now is as good a time as any. So that's why we're taking this job, is, is walking away money? If you want to call it that. That's it, then. One last job and we're finished, huh? I've always thought it was a good idea to quit while you're ahead. I think 10 million qualifies as being ahead. This is the question. If you didn't take this break, would you still do the job? If I'm honest, no, I wouldn't. And I wouldn't blame any one of you that wanted to walk away right now. But come on. The money comes in tomorrow. Our play is that the City of London Police has had us under surveillance. Ash has already lined up a, a dozen grifters in all the vehicles. We get ourselves arrested, but we let Wasem get away. He'll run straight to the airport, desperate to leave the country. He'll think the money has been impounded. There's nothing to keep him here. Whereas we, on the other hand, will cash in and be long gone by the time the dust settles. will work. Trust me. Hello. We have a job. Stay in your room. I will send over a package. You okay? Yeah. So this uh, whole break thing, you know, the whole um, going our own way thing, only it's a bit sudden and it's a bit like Stacey turning up the way she has. And I just, I, I was wondering if the two things were related in any way. It's just curiosity, really. It's, it's a good job I'm not a cat. <laughs> no, the, th the thing is... No, it's not. It's not what? Related. OK. It's just... I want to live a normal life for a while. Get to know people for who they are. Not constantly look at them and see if they'd make a great mark or not. So it's more like a holiday, really? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so we can still, you know, like, meet up and spend time together and, and chill. I'd like that. Me too. Because then the whole work thing wouldn't be there anymore, would it? No, it wouldn't. And if everything goes right tomorrow, then, you know, we'll be stinking rich <laughs> yes we will so at some point we could be talking you and me in the desert island and like a couple of million in the bank or something that doesn't sound too shabby does it no it doesn't Great, well then, I'll just leave you to your thinking. I just thought I'd ask. I'm really glad you did. Okay, so you go when Albert calls Nick to give him the thumbs up. Hard and fast, okay, lots of noise. We need him scared enough to run straight to the airport. Everyone in cuffs and dragged out to the vans. Now we're gonna be right outside the London Stock Exchange in broad daylight, so it won't be long before the real old Bill notice. So don't hang about, get them in the vans and on your way. The Mark is last up. He'll be with his bodyguard and Stacy. Stacy will offer to bribe Nick at that point, and that's when you let him go. Is that all clear? Yeah. 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 Right. Get yourselves in position. Good luck. Take care, Albert. So Stacy called. The money's in the trading account, but when we get there, Wassim has to put his pin number in before we can move it. Okay. We'll clear out of the penthouse and meet at the hotel when it's done. We'll split the money by direct transfer and then. 
all go our separate ways. Everyone know what they're doing? <clears throat> what about me? Hi. Well, everyone's talking about the, the biggest job ever, you know, history in the making and all that, and uh, everyone's got something to do except me. Even the bloody dogs have got a part. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, there's a reason we haven't given you anything yet. Ed. Yeah? <laughs> because we've saved the best till last. Ah, oh, shit. See, I thought it'd be something like that. So what, do I get, like, a uniform and, and all that? No, nah, you won't need one. You see, the most important part of your job is to have the drinks ready and on the table for when we get back. <clears throat> Good luck, Ed. We need your pen. Thank you. Okay. Three minutes. That it. Yeah. Now we were never here. What's happening with my money? Sorry. It's buying. to do the transfer. So now we're transferring his 10 million from the trading account into our account. Hi. We have a reservation under the name of Jones. Most fun I've ever had. You know what? I think we come back tomorrow, we do it all over again. <laughs> Take the rest of them away. Uh, it, was, it was just a demonstration. <laughs> we only met them yesterday. <laughs> they were trying to convince us to invest, but we didn't. <laughs> Open the bag. You can see for yourself. So this is your money? Uh, yes. Uh, but, but, but it doesn't have to be. <laughs> It could be yours. So if it just disappeared, 
There is half a million pounds in cash in that bag. So. If you let us go, we won't even look back. I swear. I've got a jet fueled, ready to leave. I can be out of the country in an hour. You, you've got the machine, the, the, the people who built it. Why do you need us? on his way to the airport. Stacey's gonna lose him and meet you back at the hotel. <laughs> you son of a bitch, you did it! Hold tight. <laughs> you did well. Just get on the plane before they change their mind. We're back. <laughs> ah, hey. Hey. <laughs> Current balance, 10 million pounds. Yes! And he gave us half a mil commission in cash for taking it off him. <laughs> hey. Hey. Sam, thank you. Thank you, my dear. To <laughs> us. To oh, us. Oh, yeah. I've just gone into the hotel. No. No police. Oh, taste of victory. Scary. Scary. Is it? Guys, get out. Go, 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 move. Mickey Briggs, if you've ever been brilliant, please be brilliant now. Gentlemen, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. But, uh... That's my money. That's my money, come on. Come on. I guess most of you must have thought that one day, it would end like this.
which, without an extraordinary amount of planning, it very well might have done. Go on then, off your asses, wakey wakey. Honestly, hey, what would you lot do without me coming to bail you out of trouble all the time? I mean, it's all right, Mickey, doing all that look at me, I'm a clever bastard stuff, but when it comes down to it, just can't do it without me, can you? Are you sure you couldn't find anyone else? I'm sorry. Hello. Who's this? Very pretty. Hello, oh, sweetheart. I'm Danny. Danny Blue. <laughs> Probably heard a lot about me. <laughs> Call my enforcer. Get him on a plane. Klukas. I'm here. Hello, Mickey. Try this on. Just the record. This isn't an accurate representation of my underwear. I want you to learn how they program the machine. Basically, there's a box with a bunch of lights in it. That's all it might be. Gentlemen, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Go on, then. Off your asses. Did you, uh, did you throw it all over? Nah, 50 grand or so. Away. I think that's a fabulous idea. How about me and you, we just slip away together? Oh, Daddy, behave. Yeah, easy, pal. my sister. Whoa, everybody's a bit touchy, aren't they? <laughs> I didn't have to use blanks, you know. I did think about it. How you doing, Albie? Pretty good, Danny, pretty good. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to shoot you. <coughs> Don't worry about it. I play Mickey, he's very theatrical. Well, someone shut him up. He's uh, a bit OTT, that's all I'm saying. We were still being watched, Danny. Yeah, exactly. Always playing to the audience. Listen, listen, mate. When you've taken someone for 10 million, the only way you can be sure they're not coming after you is if they think you're dead. 10 million? Is this a good time to talk about my cut? I think we'd better be going. Time we should make a move. Come on. <laughs> I've just had an amazing and original idea. Good help us. Bear with me. Right, one, two, three. There's seven of us, right? We should hook up. We start a new gang. Maybe I'll lead it. We'll call it the Magnificent Seven. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Albert? I think that's a hell of an idea. <laughs> what about the Great Eight? <laughs> <laughs> the Great Eight. So that's it. I'm out of here. I hope you've picked up a few things along the way. If something seems too good to be true, it almost certainly is. Always look a gift horse in the mouth, unless you don't much care whether it has teeth or not. And remember, you can't cheat an honest man. So, if you bend the rules to make some easy money, you deserve what you get. Oh, and uh, don't believe everything people tell you. Whoever they are. Think things through for yourself. Is it for real? Is someone telling you that story for a reason? Or are they having you right at it? But most important of all, whether it's business, buying, selling, whether it's someone you know, or someone you don't, even if it's love. Never be a mark. <laughs>